you know what your niche is, then you're just looking for fresh ideas, fresh content, a way to spend what you already know without having to um, reinvent the wheel. What's going on? This is Michelle Farley of MichelleFarleyWrites.com and this is Copy Magnet TV. This is where I bring you all the tips, tricks, and hacks all about copywriting and how you can build and grow your business. So if you're ready to start, let's go. One big question all freelance writers must tackle regardless of their experience or career levels and that is whether to specialize in a niche or be a generalist. So newly copywriters will often read like articles, listen to podcasts about picking a niche, finding a niche, the importance of a niche, all these different things, right? And experienced copywriters have the same kind of issue, but it's more about like leveraging your niche or switching your niche or combining your niche or um, staying committed to the niche, right? And all of these build upon um, a reputation. Let's talk about the pros of a niche, right? When you have a niche, you are building a great reputation as a writer. Uh, you'll probably have steady work. Um, and you're knowledgeable. So you'll be the subject matter expert in that niche and you will get paid nicely for it. The second pro of having a niche is that you can describe yourself as a leader in that industry for that niche. So there are so many topics and so many industries that when you specialize in a particular niche that everyone is not uh, privy to, then you can, um, there's, tr there's truly like limitless opportunity for income. So passionate pursuits are another way people head towards specific subjects. So if you are interested in fashion or beauty or homeopathic solutions, then you're going to search and do more research and find new ways, new innovative ways to write about it, right? And so it actually naturally fits into what you want to do. Once you know what your niche is, then you're just looking for fresh ideas, fresh content, a way to spend what you already know without having to um, reinvent the wheel. Okay, so let's move on to the nah or the negatives. The nah or the negatives about writing in a niche, right? So number one, a writer can build up a steady work and reputation just by being a great writer. He doesn't have to be in a niche. Number two, niche burnout. It sucks, it sucks, it sucks, and it's exhausting when a writer is writing about the same exact thing every single time, right? So if you're writing about limos and it's about limo rental and uh, getting a rental for your wedding or getting a rental for prom and it's the same thing, even if you try to be innovative, it's like that's the only thing you ever write about, it can be exhausting. It can be exhausting, but it can also extinguish your passion. Many writers cannot fathom them writing about the same subject time and time again. So it's good to spruce things up. So in actuality, to be successful as a copywriter, you can do both. You can choose a niche or you cannot choose a niche, right? Having a core subject or a group of subjects while taking on other work is perfectly fine. Your success comes from your work ethic and writing well. That's it. All right. So I hope you found this video helpful. If so, please like, subscribe, and share. Again, my name is Michelle Farley at MichelleFarleyWrites.com. This is Copy Magnet TV. Until next time we meet, I hope you guys are having an awesome, amazing day. I wish you peace and blessings, and we'll talk to you soon.